Hi, my name is Matt DeCock, and this is going to be my persuasive speech. These are the cards. And this is my audience. I'm Jenny DeCock, Matt's older sister. Hi, I'm Mickey DeCock, Matt's mom. I am Yoshin, Matt's brother. I'm Eric Rigger, I'm a friend. Okay. If you knew that you would die from a heart attack in 10 years, and that changing your eating habits could avoid that, would you make the change? Making a radical change in your diet today with vegetarianism could have benefits both for your mortality and quality of life. Only 1 in 10 Americans are actually fulfilling their daily servings for both fruits and vegetables, according to an article from Dennis Thompson, a respected writer for Health Day. Those who don't get enough fruits and vegetables and eat a traditional high-fat American red meat diet <coughs> often have issues with health, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and even serious heart disease. These are just some examples of why being a vegetarian is important for your health. Being a healthy weight may be the most important part of being vegetarian and is the natural result of that kind of diet. There are many other reasons people choose vegetarianism, such as happier living, concern of cruelty to animals, and even fighting cancer. You only need to look at the deaths from obesity and other diet-related problems to see the need for an improvement. I've personally witnessed friends who've had issues with weight and eating who have benefited greatly from using vegetarian diets. Their subsequent weight loss allowed them to live far happier lives and to be more active. A family friend who had brain cancer managed to far outlive his prognosis unlike others with the same stage and grade of brain cancer, and the only difference was his extremely radical vegetarian diet. Although this example is anecdotal, isn't it better to be healthy and diet safely. That's what inspired me to do this in the first place. The surprising need for more vegetarian diets and a large number of people and why they are so important, the things we need to do to utilize vegetarian diets and how to alter what we buy at the store, that there are many health benefits from choosing a vegetarian diet ranging from lower blood pressure to reduced obesity, and that the steps that need to be taken to a vegetarian don't need to be complicated or expensive. The concept of healthier eating sounds interesting, but why would anyone actually need to switch to a vegetarian diet? According to Dr. Jan Sandbrook, author of Eat More Fruit and Vegetables, millions of people don't reach their daily fruits and vegetable count, causing them to suffer many health problems both in the long and short term. These problems include obesity, high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and type 2 diabetes. The amazing thing about a health diet is can actually reverse these diseases which impact longevity and severely diminish the quality of life along the way. Across America, there are many problems associated with having insufficient dietary intake of all things vegetarian. In his book, Eat More, Weigh Less, Dr. Ornish makes the point that in a medical study, women who were only 5% overweight were a staggering 30% more likely to have heart disease. Those even more overweight had a risk of coronary disease 80% higher than average, and women who were 30% overweight were 300% more likely to contract heart disease. Very few Americans are willing to take the necessary steps to make dietary changes that result in lower fat intake. The good news from Dr. Orange's study 
is that even losing just a little bit of weight can significantly improve your health and well-being. Dr. Ornish has developed a vegetarian diet for those who need to lose weight to improve their health. Many people are in dire need of a healthier diet, and vegetarianism is a strong solution. Now that you have a better understanding of why a vegetarian diet is so important, let's talk about what you can do to improve your life with vegetarian eating. It may seem like all you have to do is eat one or two more fruits and vegetables every day to be healthier, but it's more than just that. Dean Ornish and his research team found that it takes a fairly stringent diet, low in fat, to truly change the course of your life. Those who use his diet never need to be hungry, just eat differently. Start simply by eating apples and bananas, basic fruits to get started. Gradually start adding more varied fruits and vegetables into the mix, like carrots and celery. There are many recipe books, including Ornish's Eat More, Way Less, that succinctly propose a myriad of dietary options. It's a common reaction to go grab a bag of chips or some other kind of junk food to satisfy a small bout of hunger. But just having a fruit bowl with apples, bananas, or oranges to place healthy food in a convenient place will also give you energy without a large increase in calorie intake. Resist the temptation to buy junk food over healthier options. Although there are some deficiencies related to vegetarian diets, they can be easily overcome. Vitamin B12 is one such deficiency. Unfortunately, it's easy to maintain a healthy level of B12 via vitamin supplements. Vitamin D deficiencies in maintaining bone densities are potentially the worst problems that are common in vegetarians, but they too aren't difficult to solve. Getting enough sun can easily diminish problems with vitamin D and bone density, or just drinking milk. Vitamin supplements are also a commonly used solution in those who don't get enough sun or milk. Iron seems like it would be the largest deficiency issue that vegetarians face, but it's actually not that much of a problem. Many foods, such as beans and legumes, provide the iron vegetarians need. And if all else fails, vitamin supplements are always an option. Protein is another deficiency that seems like an obvious problem that vegetarians would face, but is surprisingly easy to deal with. Regular protein intake is reached through most vegetarian diets regularly, and even protein requirements like 90 grams for a heavy exercise are reachable by just including dairy products or eggs. Only strict veg vegans who won't eat anything that comes from an animal struggle to reach that much protein. These facts are discussed thoroughly by Jude Handler, a respected health writer, and Dr. Mike Russell, a nutritional expert. Now that I've discussed why and how you can become a vegetarian, what are the actual benefits of a vegetarian lifestyle? Dr. Craig Winston, author of Health Benefits of Vegetarian Diets, has found that those who consume large amounts of flavonoids, plant compounds that are commonly found in fruits, vegetables, nuts, and whole grains, have a 60% lower mortality rate from heart disease and a 70% lower risk of stroke than those who consumed few flavonoids. Vegetarians have a 20 to 30 percent lower risk of fatal stroke than non-vegetarians as well. Dr. Ornish has found that those who suffer from obesity and aren't only less healthy in general also tend to be passed over when looking for jobs. They also make less money than healthy individuals, roughly $1,000 for each pound that they are overweight. They're even less likely to be promoted than healthy individuals. But because vegetarians are healthy, they don't have to deal with any of these issues, at least not for their physical being. Vegetarians not only benefit themselves, but also the animals that are spared from being slaughtered for their meat. Vegetarian 101, an article from PETA, talks about the fact that 27 billion animals each year are destined for slaughter to accommodate meat-heavy diets. Sadly, these animals also live and grow up in utterly horrid living conditions. Each individual person can save over a hundred animals per year by switching to vegetarianism. Imagine a world where everyone became vegetarian. Health problems would be at an all-time low, only needing some vitamin supplements to maintain a completely perfect balance. No animals would need to be sacrificed or harmed to provide us with our own food. And because of longer lifespans, everyone would live more happily and productively, leading to many improvements beyond just healthy living. Now, I'll tell you what actions you can take to become vegetarian. I very strongly encourage you to go out and start implementing a healthier diet as soon as you can. Switching to a vegetarian lifestyle can be a gradual or sudden shift. Whether you make that change by buying more fruits and veggies tomorrow, putting a fruit bowl in your home, or making a more radical change, eliminating all meats and fats overnight, something should be done. The next time you're hungry, 
Think about how much you could benefit from grabbing an apple over a bag of chips. As you plan your weekly meals, think vegetarian. You should look up Everyday Health, The Orange Diet, and read what they have on our website. You'll be inspired to try and undertake the diet they propose. Eating and being healthy are deeply important to living a long and happy life, and I hope that I have inspired you to make a change in your own. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt.